Bucks. It's Lucy at Ballyhoo Creations. And if you are still looking for an embroidery machine, there's some news this week that might make you want to take a look. So a couple of things going on this week. One thing is I've seen viewers talking about their new PE 800s. So apparently those are shipping again. I checked Amazon prices in walmart.com and they're still costing over $900. So I think that's still a little bit too high. Those machines should be more around the $700 price range normally, but because of the pandemic and the supply and demand was all out of kilter and you couldn't even get your hands on a machine. And if you did, it was the 900 to a thousand dollar price, but it looks like maybe they're coming back in stock again. And that means the prices will be coming down. So keep your eye out for that. If you're looking for one of those PE 800s, which is the five by seven hoop, kind of a smaller, but it's not the smallest size. If you want something a little bit bigger, Brother and Baby Lock have new machines for 2022 that have just been announced, and those are the 6x10 machines. There's the, um, and by the way, Brother and Baby Lock make their machines at the same factory. They're the same models, same features, and that's why if you go and look at both websites, and I'll kind of show you both, Baby Lock has three new, three new embroidery machines, and Brother has three new embroidery machines, and guess what? They're the same machines. They both have the six needle that's been updated for this year. And then the six by 10 machines have also been updated for actually 2022 for next year. Let's go look at their website. You can see the changes. Okay, so I'm on the Baby Lock website first and they are introducing their five new machines. We'll scroll, scroll down. Two of them are quilting machines, so I won't really talk about the ballad and the chorus, but the array is the new six needle. That's this one here. And they have added Wi-Fi. The hoop size is the same. And let's see, they also have a new um, laser crosshair. I'll show you on, I think this is actually the, the brother version of it over here, but you can get a look at what that crosshair looks like right there. Instead of just the laser dot, now it's got a laser crosshair. I'm not sure how functional that is. Also, Baby and Brother Lock are saying that these do a thousand stitches per minute, which is funny because their multi needles did a thousand stitches per minute like before. So that's not new. I think what they're trying to say is they have a new accelerated process where it gets up to that fast speed faster. But if you've used them in an embroidery machine before, you know that depending on the stitches, it won't go that fast. So those numbers, you know, I don't know, it, it's probably going to be faster than the older versions of the six and 10 needles, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So the six needles are new for both baby and brother lock, same features there. And then we've also got here at, uh, whoops, going way too fast. At baby lock, they're calling their six by 10 machines, the flare and the Vesta. These are the same um, embroidery wise. And then Brother has, let me see if I can get over to their website. Over on the Brother side for their six by 10 machines, they now have the, the Inovus NQ1700E, which is replacing the um, SE1600. And then they have the Inovus NQ3700, and that's just replacing the NQ3600. They, I mean, they just like add a hundred and call it a day. But what's cool about the six by 10 machines for both Brother and Baby Lock now, whether it's an embroidery only or the combo machines, they have Wi-Fi now. So that's pretty cool because I just said in my video last week when I was talking about embroidery machine designs, how Wi-Fi is a 20 year old technology and these machine makers save it for their most expensive machines. And so at least they're coming down now, but these are still machines that are gonna cost more than $1,500. So, I mean, it's coming down into the lower price ranges, but it's still not at the bottom. And think about it, you can go to Walmart and buy a, a cell phone for $30 that has a Wi-Fi chip in it, but you can spend $5,000 for an embroidery machine that doesn't, What's the deal? Wi-Fi chips are so cheap, just put it in there. And I'm sure they have other new features too, but nothing really stood out on the feature list to me. Nothing was like, wow, that's amazing new stuff. Adding Wi-Fi was really the only thing that seemed to be pretty cool, so. And then you can go to their website. You can check all this out and, and dig deeper if you want to. Um, Brother also has the scan and cut, has updated models and Finally, the Scan and Cut has a rotary blade, so they're finally getting up there with the Cricut to, to cut fabric, which is crazy because the Scan and Cut has been marketed to sew us all along, but they didn't have the little rotary cutting blade, and now they do, so, well, okay, now they do. And then there's some magnetic hoops, like there's a five by seven magnetic hoop, and I'm not sure which machines those fit, but um, if you really have wanted a magnetic hoop for your single needle, I 
think now they're going to have that available for you. But if you've been shopping, um, I've said before the Flourish 2 is a great machine. It's a, a big hoop, 6x10. $1,500 is what it's been selling for. Same as the Brother, I get them confused, the SE 1600 and the Baby Lock Flourish 2 are the same machine. And there's new models coming out. So whether you want to wait for the new model and get a machine with Wi-Fi, that's something worth waiting for for you, or go ahead and buy the, um, the models that they're trying to get out of the stores and maybe save a little bit of money. See how that goes. So good luck on that. Something else that's new in the sewing machine world, and this actually happened in June. So if you didn't already know, Viking, Singer, and Faf are all owned by the same company. And they are called, let's see, what order are they? SVP. S for Singer, V for Viking, P for FAF, so SVP Group. And they were acquired in June, an announcement came out by a company called Platinum Equity. And this is a company that does acquisitions and mergers. They buy companies and they change things around and then they probably turn around and sell them later or they may just operate them. Um, VSP or SVP has been owned, they've traded hands several times, it seems like. like they just It's like the hot potato of the industry. So I, we'll see if that makes any changes. One thing that was interesting about this platinum um, equity firm is they also own thread companies um, like Robinson Anton is already owned by them and there was some textile. I wanna say Gore-Tex may have been one of them. Like there's, they make a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, it's, it would be interesting if that all came under one umbrella and see if that changes in the sewing world. I don't know, maybe it won't mean anything at all. And then this is the part of the vlog where I just talk about new stuff with me. I have still been working on videos and videos and videos for Creative Fabric. I still got some video to do for them. And then also Skillshare. I've been doing a lot of workshops and training on Skillshare to learn how to teach on their platform. They have different criteria like anybody can put a video up on YouTube, but Skillshare is more picky about who can teach on Skillshare and the, the quality of your video and things like that. So um, that's, that's been really interesting. And so I'm hoping to get some classes up there, at least one by the, the end of August. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have my collection of, of designs. You know, I design, I digitize dolls for the embroidery machine and I have some new ones. These are, they started as stump dolls. Um, a stump doll has no arms or legs, but I did go ahead and add, I'm putting jointed arms on these and then they have a little heads there. And here's another one here. This is Halloween, trying to get something. I, I hate his hair, but it's pretty crazy. And these are actually fabric that is printed. So if you have a sublimation printer, or I like to use Terriel Magic and you can print directly with an inkjet printer. And these are um, a little template that I've designed and then you can fill in your own graphics or I may do a few of them. And then you print that out on the fabric and then you line that up on your embroidery machine and it stitches the seams for you. So I'm just playing around with that idea for the last class I'm teaching at Creative Fabrica. Um, not, not my favorite here. Usually, you know, when I'm testing stuff, they look really weird. Like this guy, he just looks ridiculous, I think. I mean, yeah. But again, printed fabric is pretty cool. And you can either print a saying or you can just leave a blank area in there and embroider something in. So that's kind of what I've been playing around with. Halloween collection is late. <laughs> and that's really what I want to be working on the most. And so it's what I'm putting off the longest, but I'll get there. So that's all I have for this week. I'll try to keep this vlog going with new things that are happening. This is the time of year where the machine brands are coming out with their new models. I haven't seen anything yet from Bernina. They usually come out at this same time too. And then Janome and also the Singer Viking Faf group. I haven't seen anything from them yet. I get all of the emails, so I'll keep you posted if I see anything new on those too. That's all I got for this week. I'll see you later.